Welcome to Fallout 4, we're here with Nikita and we're just finished killing Kellogg and doing McCready's quest in the last episode and various other things. And now we're off to see Nick Valentine. Come on, Nikki, I'm just asking for your opinion. It'd be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Now we'll keep McCready. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Excellent. Dangerous minds. I thought I'd pick that robo fun. Fun up. Excellent. Huh. Not enough folks value. Oh, I could have sworn I'd picked that up in another session, but okay. Clearly not. Uh, actually, while we're here, we will just quickly talk to Ellie. Miss Perkins. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Yeah, let's hear it. Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Alright. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. 
The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast, a small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Fantastic. That, that opens up the uh, Bar Harbor quest line, which we'll do much, much later. We'll finish the main quest line before we can carry on with that, I think. I want to be left alone. Well, then don't talk to me, little girl. All right, so we'll head off to Good Neighbor. All right, we're in Good Neighbor outside the memory den. Let us go in. Okay, let's find who we're looking for. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hmm. Okay, let's go downstairs. Wait. Right, here Dr. she is. Amari? Yes? Wait, I remember you. H222's contact. What's this all about? Uh... We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yep. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth, but Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. <laughs> hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static, I... I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Hmm. Okay. There must be a way to break it. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Yep. We'll do that, eh? All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there, and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Okay, let's do this thing. How oh, exciting, exciting stuff. Be stand by. Wait. 
Yes. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Excellent. This was quite freaky the first time I did it. Come along. Hurry up. Load, load. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. Well, we'll follow this. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. This is so freaky. That makes it official, folks. The final vote count from the... Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! California Republic. All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment... Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. Okay, let's just... Always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're no. looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Okay. There. Carry on Try along here. One. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kinda green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. All I'll right. connect you to the next intact memory. That's a bit of info on uh, good old Kellogg, isn't it? So he did have his own family at one point. I wonder what made him turn into a complete bastard. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? 
just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Wow, so his family was killed. Yes, that's why he was so bitter. That's what I'm reading into it anyway. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Mm. Try this next one. Yeah, it's this way, isn't it? I get a bit disorientated through these. Let's see. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System off. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Wow, he's efficient. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Uh. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Stuff will come through here. Oh, this looks like the vault. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Okay, we do, what do we do? Go that side. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it Almost. Okay? Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, Wait. baby. No. I got him! Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah, right, I idea. found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Okay, let's carry on.
Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It's all over But the dreaming X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Wow. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Okay. Must have been under there a while. Pretty sure I had water just before starting. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Mm, fine. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Yep. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Yeah, we're gonna have to go and chase Virgil down. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Hmm. Oh well, I'll find him. If we need to find Virgil... Then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. Yeah, I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get through the Reds. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Fantastic. Alright, let's just loop that while we're here. Uh, and we will bring Curie to Dr. Omari later. Owen C. Okay, where's Nick? We'll talk to Nick and then we'll finish this session. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Oh. Kellogg. Is that you? What? 
What are you talking about? Sounded like Kellogg. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Yeah, we'll keep McCready for a bit longer. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Excellent! We should head over to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. Yes, indeed, and we will later. Well, if you've enjoyed this session of Fallout 4, do hit that like, hit that subscribe, and remember, there's that little bell. Click that so that you get notified when there's new emails. This has been Smells Mad Gaming. Thank you very much.